the intergovernmental panel on climate change is in the news once again the working group 1 uh, is meeting online to finalize its report by august 6th the world will know what is its health report regarding climate change it will know how much how much the world has warmed in the past few years it will know how much the glaciers have melted it will know how much the oceans have warmed it will know how much the sea level has risen this is the first working group report which looks at the physical science basis of climate change the second working group report which will look at the impact of this and the vulnerabilities of different parts of the world and what can be done to adapt and the third working group which will look at how to mitigate how to reduce greenhouse gas emissions this these are the schedules which uh, the ipcc secretariat has put out and in september october 2022 final meeting to develop the synthesis report and the summary for policy makers would would meet by the time the world leaders and and the international community would meet at glasgow uk this year in november 2021 the first working group report the report card for how the world is due to climate change would be out and by the time these same people meet next year for the next conference of parties the entire ipcc assessment report would be out this is the sixth assessment report of the intergovernmental panel on climate change which is a network of climate scientists working in their laboratories in different parts of the world uh, to 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 look at the latest in scientific literature uh, on different aspects of climate change like sea level rise uh, like uh, ocean temperature rise like the global temperature rise etc etc and ipcc is also a two layer process where uh, in addition to the scientific ground truthing uh, the 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 process also develop a summary for policy makers so that policy makers can buy, base their actions on this the first report of ipcc came in uh, 1990 second in 1995 third in 2001 fourth in 2007 and the fifth fifth assessment report was in 2014 The 2014 Fifth Assessment Report, that's AR5, was the basis on which the international community met at Paris, and and the Paris Agreement was drawn up. So this is the first time uh, there is an assessment report after the Paris Agreement. So this becomes of great importance, uh, not just to the world but also to India. Why is this time period important? Why is 2021 important? Whole series of milestones. Uh, had to be crossed in 2020 which was the year when the transition from the kyoto protocol framework to the paris agreement framework was designed however 2020 no conference of party could happen because of the covid pandemic and all those discussions have now come to 2021 for india what it means is india moves from the when when india moves from the Kyoto Protocol framework to the Paris Agreement framework uh India has its own voluntary but it has its nationally determined contributions to climate mitigation what it's committed to the Paris Agreement under the old framework India did not have uh any commitments so this this is a is is a major step India had said that it would adopt a climate friendly cleaner path it would reduce emissions uh, of its gdp by 32 to 35% by 2030 of its 2005 value achieve about 40% cumulative electric power installed capacity from non fossil fuel based energy sources by 2030 which is very significant 40% of its installed capacity would be from non fossil fuel that is renewable energy sources Uh, create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide and better adapt to climate change in special areas like agriculture water resources himalayan region etc and mobilize funds domestic and international and mobilize technology 
uh, for this to happen. So uh, what India has done since, since the time of Paris Agreement is it has started on, on its pathway to energy transition, moving from fossil fuel to renewable energy. The commitment uh, India made was that by the year 2022, India would generate 150 gigawatts of renewable energy and by 2030, it would be 450 gigawatts. And it's reasonably on its path because the current estimates say that uh, India has crossed 96 gigawatts of uh, installed capacity in renewable energy. On the one hand, India has an energy transition pathway which will take its bearing from the Working Group 1 report because it, then India can decide how it's going, whether, whether the pace has to be changed, etc. On the other hand, uh, there's a bit of a yin and yang policy situation because uh, after the COVID-19 uh, first lockdown, when the national government uh, announced policy measures to uh, to to, uh, to to kickstart the economy, one of the policy measures was to promote coal mining. So on the one hand, we have renewable energy, and also on the other hand, there is on coal mining. India is under pressure from developed countries to uh, to declare a day, date, a year by when in, it would turn to net zero carbon emissions. So, India would have an opportunity on August 6th. India would have an opportunity to look at all these policy uh, policy frameworks within the realities of what the climate change situation is for the globe, for South Asia and for the Indian subcontinent.